What's up guys, Gary7 here and welcome to episode 13 of Far Cry Primal. So as you know I've been doing a full playthrough of Far Cry Primal. If you um, haven't watched all the other episodes make sure to go and check them out. If you do enjoy it make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, share it so you can see it if you are new. Also please do subscribe. Anyway what we're going to do now is going to get straight into this here game. Um, I want to make my way up to the northern area so we need to get to the, the Yagi Arrow bonfire. Um, and to get there we will fast travel to this bonfire a second. So we'll do that and then we'll make our way up there and we're going to get through all these main missions, try and get these done um, and then we would literally progress through this game and uh, see what the outcome of it is. So here we are, we just spawned at this outpost, we'll bring up my map a second um, and we need to head to the Yagi Arrow Bonfire so we'll put that there, waypoint, so we need to head to the left up over here, let's just head there now, 650 odd feet. Slide down this cliff without dying, hopefully. Again, got to be careful. I do not want to die. There you go. Took a little bit of full damage, but nothing too major. Quick heal for that one. Bring out my spear. We will carry on going. Oh, I believe there's some baddies up there. But again, we're not going to bother with any of these little side missions. We want to get straight on and get these main missions done. Make sure we've got our bait out just in case there's something that comes around that we want to try and tame. Anyway, let's keep going, keep cracking on. Head down here again, making sure we slide down these embankments rather than just jump. Again, same thing as always, doing what we need to do. I can see there's something bad over here. So we're going to send our tiger into that one, take him out. Good beast, look at that. Sabertooth is absolute unreal. We'll heal him out quickly, make sure he's okay. And then take whatever we can off this guy. There's nothing there. So when you get the um, trails behind the animals, that's the rare skins that you can collect. But again, we're not bothered by that at the moment. We literally need to head our way up here and I can grapple up to the top here so bring up the grapple and then R2 to go up make our way up this rock face so it's climbing around it and we've got tape here again we don't need any of that so keep going this way 400 odd feet we'll literally just make our way there run there as quick as we can I know these bits here the walking does take a while but again that is part of the game at the moment um, in a few more episodes hopefully we'll learn the skills to ride the beasts which will be really good make uh, traversing this area a lot easier, be able to run through it quicker. Um, but for now, what we have to do is just make our way there on foot. Again, it is good because it gives us the opportunity to collect all of these resources that are around the place. And these are the rare and north stuff, which we don't really have a lot of. So here we go, we'll keep going up here, 100, 200 and something foot, and it looks like it's up a mountain. So let's just keep going up here. Okay, now we're into the colder areas. We need to also make sure we keep a lookout. Plenty of walls around. But we have our saber super bus, which is going to help us out a lot. And here we can see we're getting cold now. So let's make our way to this bonfire, light it up, get ourselves warm. Hopefully that will stop the cold. We've got a rare yak here. Again, we don't need no yak skin. So we'll head up around to the left-hand side here, so we've got an over the mountain. It looks like we are heading there now. I'm going to quickly bring up the map. What we'll do is we'll zoom in now. If we follow this path all the way up around, it'll take us there. So what we'll do is we'll stick to that pathway. Again, these little road paths are you know, quite good. They do show you the best way to go, even though it's not really a proper pathway. So actually, yeah, the Yagi Arrow Bonfire has been discovered now. We've unlocked a skill point for that. We're going to go into stealth because no doubt there's some baddies around. Take him out with a headshot. Now it's time to take him out. Again, doing this as stealth as possible. Should give us the opportunity. There we go. That is it. All these guys have been taken out. Now we've got to ignite the bonfire, so I'm going to ignite my stick. Make my way up to it and then just throw it in. So any ignited uh, tool will do the job. I just decided that I wanted to use the spear this time. So there we have it. A nice outpost up here. On the outcrop of a cliff, increase our visit, visit, visit village population. So that's good. 
And again, another outpost with a nice fast spawn point over here. We get cold, just stand down here so we don't get too cold. Again, don't really want to drop down here and die, so we've got to make our way around this side. We've got stashes everywhere, everything to look out for. Bags to search, as always, in all these locations. Just have a little look around. I'm going to make my way down here because there is a little bag it's telling me about. Again, I'm not sure where. There it is, see, a little stash. We'll search that. We've got rare south maple and white yak skin and things like that, so that's good. Head away back up to the bonfire so I'm not getting too cold. Again, we can hear a lot of stuff going on here. So let's go to the bonfire so we're staying warm. And we'll have a look where we need to go now. So we've got these two Wenger bracelets we can look for, but again, I don't really want to do that right now. I'm going to head over to the uh, Twashar Cave Outpost. This is a difficult one, so this might be quite good fun to do. Um, but basically, I want to head my way over to Karush the Warrior. So to do that, again, we need to take out these outposts first. So we've got fast spawn points. Again, make sure a waypoint is set there. And we'll head out there and see what we can get there. Okay, so to uh, make our way there, we need to, again, head down to the walkway. I'm going to keep going there because it's a lot easier than trying to traverse this. As you can see where we are now, we're in the mountains. It's a region I have yet to explore, so again, it's going to be nice for us to have a look around. Um, I'm getting a bit cold, so I will ignite my uh, spear, so it keeps me a bit warmer. Um, again, we're going to head up. Let's have a look at the map again. Sorry about doing this. We need to head to the right here. Make our way around. Okay, keep a look out. You can hear all the walls and that around here, so it's a lot more dangerous where we are. And it would appear we've got a big bear there. Which, again, our saber tooth is scared away. Making him. Taking all this here. We need all the hardwood we can get, as obviously we're going to be using a lot of hardwood with doing, uh, you know, igniting spears and things like that. Continue to make our way around. Tape here and everything down here. Again, we need to make our way all the way through this here. You can see this wilderness is a lot different to where we have been. We're now up into the proper depths of the north, up towards the glaciers. So let's figure out how to get up here. So we could go all the way around and do it that way. I think it's going to be our best bet. So head around to the right again. And the music is changing. It's a lot more eerie up around here. The other Tushar Den outpost has been located. Now it's just a case of making our way up there. Here, so we've got a grappling hook up here. So you can see that. We can figure out whereabouts it is. There it is above our head here. So we'll grapple up here. Got R2 again. Our beast will take a little bit of time to get up with us, but he will make it his way up. So here we are atop here. Okay, we've got another grapple hook, but before I do that, let's make my other spear up. We'll grapple up to that one. Go all the way up to the top. Again, I'm going to do this as stealthily as possible. The least damage we take and the less attack we get, the better. Um, and obviously some of these outposts, you do get rewards for taking the stealth approach. Again, we'll look about, see... Yeah, we've got a bracelet up there again. We'll, we'll quickly go and grab that one. So... Again, you can see on the map these little blue things. These are the bracelets. They're like little secrets that you can find and grab. They do glow, which is nice. They are in the most precarious of positions. So that's a Dacia hand. We've got another one of them, which is nice. And it looks like a bonfire down below us, but we're going to ignore that one for now. We need to make our way up to the top here. So to do that, we will run. Get there as fast as we can. And just see what we can get from it. Let's hope we can actually achieve it. There is stuff around so we've got to be really careful. It's really actually quite eerie and spooky up here. Um, again, we are going stealth so let's go down. We've got our saber tooth, he's near us. Let's have a look. So, looks like it's in a cave. So I can't figure out how to get into this one. Maybe it is down here where I said there was a a little entrance. Let's not get killed by the mammoth. So it's a cave outpost. We need to go in for a different entrance. Again, we'll leave that for now. I'm not too bothered about what's going on up there. I need to just figure out how I'm getting into this. 
Okay, we're heading our way in there. Let's take this here. Okay, the invention here we go, so in through this cave system. Let's ignite our club. We'll do what we can to get in here stealth. So down through these caves. Again, this is where the, the certain hidden areas we've got to get to. And keeping it as stealth as possible means we're gonna hopefully have less people to fight off. We'll also extinguish our flame. So here it is. You can see in here we're at the cave system now. Send our tiger in to get this bloke up here. And this guy here, I will get with a headshot. Nice, that's one more down. Yeah, so we've got loads of them up here. Again, I'm staying back. I'm trying to keep as stealthily as possible for this. And then we will use our beast to our advantage. Pick up a bow and arrow a second. Now we've been spotted, I believe. One you son of a bitch. Ah, oh, so he's behind this rock here. Oh, beast, let's do this. Right now I'm going to run in there and I'm going to try and get some kills. Nice headshot there. Final bloke here, which is the poison bomb thrower. So I've never gone. Got us with it. Let's keep out of it. He did it. Nice. So that is it. We've taken over this outpost here. Did that quite quickly, quite easily. Didn't take too much damage. That's the Washar Cave outpost. So no alarms will trigger. We've got an extra XP for that and increase to our population in our village. So again, a really nice looking cave. There is one wolf in here. I might. And let's see. I'm going to risk this. I'm going to actually free this guy and see if he is okay with us. There you go. So he's free. That's happy. He's happy now. We'll quickly search all these guys around us because they always have different stuff. We've got our arrows back, our flint, everything like that that we need. And then once we've done that, we will go and check out this map. Let's have a look a second. So we've unlocked all of this northern area up here. Um, we've done these two outposts so far. And then what we'll do in the next episode is we'll make our way over to Karush the Warrior. And then we'll unlock our Riling the Mammoth, which will be really cool. And then again, we could also unlock these outposts and bonfires, which will then give us access to all of the other side of the map. But anyway, guys, that has been it for this episode. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. Uh, feel free to share it as well. If you are new, please do subscribe. And I'll be back again soon with some more Far Cry Primal. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.